Oh my. He does Josh pours. <laughs> I don't have to drink it. We're out here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains and we popped into Wildlife Distillery. Uh, ever since I tried their rye, I knew big things would be happening here. Luckily, I got to meet Matt, one of the owners here. This is Matt. Hello. And uh, he poured me something pretty special we're drinking right now. This is your new single malt. Yep. And we are here in the distillery in beautiful Canmore, Alberta. Yeah, been a big fan of the show and got the opportunity to meet these guys. So welcome them into the distillery here in Canmore. You're too kind. Super exciting times for us. It was a pleasure. If anybody's been following the backstory, we've been quietly making whiskey in the province here for over five years. And today and this weekend and yeah, in the coming months, you guys will see our brand new single malt is being released. It's real now. It's 100% Alberta malted barley. Mill mash ferment distilled by yours truly here in Canmore. That's very interesting. Because I've had my eye on you for quite some time. And yeah, 47 and a half. We're just having a little sip here and checking it out. And I like that you're not dropping things at 40, 45, 43. No. Do a little higher ABV. We lined it up. You actually asked this question in one of your videos. What, how did you guys decide on some of these numbers? Yeah, I, thought, I want to know why. Why did you choose that ABV? We always we always give it about 10% range of where we, the lowest we'd ever want to bottle it, up higher, and then we'll line it up 1% at a time. Okay. And try, you know, 45, 46, 47, 48. And then from there, break it down, really pinpoint where we want to want to see that this on the shelf. Spot. But I believe someone tasted it and added water until they're like, hmm, this is where it should be. Oh, very yeah. good. Which I would love even more. And then we'll line it up 1% at a time. So this one came in at 47 and a half. And yeah, super stoked to, this has been a dream for over a decade. Was single malt the main goal? Single malt was the dream, for sure. Your dreams come true. Nothing against, you know, wheat and rye are amazing local grains. Uh, but being a scotch lover myself and being into the nasty, the single malt world, this was this was something that we've been working hard and uh, yeah, passionate about for a long time. So we're stoked to finally bring it to life. Well, you've got an amazing distillery. You got beautiful bottles. Better yet, the product inside, top notch. Like I said, I uh, I was excited when I first tried your rye. Mm -hmm. I was like, I bet these boys are going to do some big things. So I'm I'm super stoked to be here. Thank awesome. you so much for having us. Yeah, of course. Um, and this. Yeah. Oh cheers. man, cheers! Thank you so much. Yeah, single malt now available, or you know, by the time this comes out, maybe sold out because you slept on it. You didn't know any better, but you won't do that again. And one place, if you're keen on these, some we're a smaller distillery. Some of our runs are a little bit tighter. Uh, we have a mailing list called the WLD Insiders. If you jump on that list, you can find out early. So we always put it out to the group a couple weeks before anything comes out. The secret is out. Uh, and it's a great way to kind of stay in the loop on some of the more behind the scenes type of releases, which this one definitely was. But yeah, stoked that it's out. Very cool. Well, thanks again so much for yeah. having us, Matt. Appreciate no your time. And check out Wildlife Distillery right here in Canmore, Alberta. Cheers. Nice and simple. Try this. Is yeah. <laughs> I know that yeah. look. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah.